I was thinking about how um, for the Ukraine-Russia conflict, this has brought up a lot of conversations in different spheres of like media analysis in particular, talking about um, differential treatment between, you know, this conflict happening in Europe versus many conflicts happening in, you know, the Middle East or Africa or either like La even like Latin America, right? And um, you did a stream on this, a surprise stream that I missed on uh, Secular Jihadists about this that I really enjoyed. So guys, go check that out on Secular Jihadists. But you were reviewing the video of the Muslim preacher um, talking about these like Western hypocrisies, right? And one of the ones that he brings up, and I've seen people bring this up on Twitter, is um, how like all of a sudden white people understand jihad um, based on their celebration of so many um, typically European um, nationals in enlisting and volunteering to go fight for Ukraine, you know, like a nation that has never been their own uh, and to go, you know, on a different territory to go fight. And um, I, I thought it was really interesting because, you know, we would probably say like, that's not a fair comparison because ISIS is going to like, terrorize any yes. civilian population um, right so but uh but right just to co just to give context for people that uh, what what this YouTube muslim um youtuber was saying is like how come we're supporting people going and fighting defending ukraine but we weren't defending muslims leaving the uk to go fight in syria and it was like, well, obviously, because the ones who were going to fight in Syria, they were joining ISIS. It's not like we're not being hypocrites. <laughs> one of them is defending uh, Ukraine against an aggressor. The other one is going to join an aggressor, right? In both cases, we're on the side of the aggressee, not on the side of the aggressor. So, like, how, how are we being hypocrites? But, yeah, go on. I was just thinking about that some more because when you were going over this point, you were like, am I just being biased? Like, is there some perspective here that I can not get over because I don't understand how bad this point is, basically? Yeah. Um, do you think it'd be fair if someone argued basically like you just say that because of um, a bias in your values? Like these are the values that we are going to we can feel compelled to fight for and like who right. are you to say that one is better than the other obviously i'd be like well i don't think it's something valuable to like build a caliphate but <laughs> that's my prerogative right. yeah basically what you're referring to is like the question that i sometimes have to struggle with is that sometimes it's so obvious uh, to me that we are right and they're wrong but then i wonder is it so obvious because we have been so deluded maybe they're right and we're wrong and somehow we have been so brainwashed and so deluded that we can see how wrong we are and sometimes they're like when, when they're like what if we are the wrong what in the wrong what if we're the wrong ones and they're the right ones how can we like i try to wipe the board completely clean as much as possible and start from scratch and like okay why do we believe the things that we believe because i am paranoid about that i am paranoid about i this is why sometimes sometimes i like reevaluate even the basics right go from the beginning like why do we why is this good why are they wrong right um and it all all goes back to defining what's good and it all ends up going to i think to the simple question, what what makes people happy, right? And do we care about that, right? And I think it just all goes back to that, right? And if it, it, that's the first step, like as long as we care about other people's happiness and we want them to more people to be happy and less people to be miserable, I think if we if we keep reconstructing our beliefs from scratch, on well, how do we get there? I still think most of the time we get back to where we are at, like. 
right away i don't think the best way to increase happiness in the world is to join isis <laughs> I, don't, I don't i highly doubt that i might be so brainwashed <laughs> to 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 be wrong about this but i have done my best as much as possible to make an attempt to be honest with myself and if i'm still wrong after all this effort to not be biased to not like be deluded by whatever i'm being impacted by then then there's no way to get out of this delusion do you know what i mean if after everything i've done i'm still in i'm still being deluded then i'm then what can i do i'm stuck here and there's no way out because i've done my best <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's no there's no hope right <laughs> yeah i just thought it was funny because that was a perspective that i just couldn't understand and the only thing the only perspective that i can try to understand it through is like someone who's being a relativist yeah so d is saying i think we are right about us she's doing her eye roll I, the, the reason why we mentioned ISIS is because it's like the most obvious one, but I'm saying even the most obvious, like here, secular rarity has a response to this. Like, yeah, you got to do what Descartes said about emptying your apple basket every now and then to make sure you're mm -hmm. still correct, which is kind of scary because even when Descartes did that, he emptied his apple basket and he still ended up being wrong. <laughs> so, so like, even when you do empty your apple basket and then you refill it, Descartes led to believing in God that he filled it with, he refilled it with God. So like, if that, even that doesn't help, <laughs> that doesn't get you. God, God and dualism. Yeah. God A and bad dualism. combo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so there we go. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.